Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Plus Life or welcome if you are new. I'm Veronica and today I'm going to go over my sinking funds for 2023. So before I even get into that, let's do the Japanese word of the day or I should say the Japanese phrase of the day. Last time I gave you the phrase for slowly, please. This time it's gonna be in the same kind of context which is gonna be and by slowly, please, it's like if you're learning Japanese and someone is telling you something, you want to ask them to speak a little bit more slowly. This time, you're going to say, can you please say that one more time? And that would be, Mo ichido ite kudasai. Mo ichido ite kudasai. One more time. Mo ichido ite kudasai. So, mo ichido ite kudasai. All right? So that is, please say that one more time, or can you please say that again? There you go. Okay, so I'm really excited because for 2023, and I guess for the first cash stuffing that I'll be doing at the end of December, which is for the side hustle stuffing, which will be coming shortly, I'm switching everything over to A5. I don't wanna do a six size anymore, so everything is now officially a5 so I've had this bad boy my a5 travel binder since the very beginning and that's always been my favorite and it's probably because it is the larger size and I've always preferred it and then my house binder since its inception has always been an a5 binder so I decided that I am now going to be switching everything over to a5 but I also have new binders new new envelopes, new categories, etc. So we're gonna go over that and we're gonna switch out, switch out what I've got. So I think I already have everything in place. Everything with Travel Binder has stayed the same. I think the only thing I added one more to my house binder, yeah, here it is, and that is for pest control. So I wanna have a separate category for that and I wanna make sure that that gets started as well. All right, so I guess we're gonna start with what I already have, okay? So my yellow binder has been my savings binder, and here we go, the new A6 size, or sorry, A5 size. And I love it because I love just the large size envelopes and I love the large font. So I'm just gonna get everything switched over here and I just like the extra roominess and, you know, I loved my travel binder from the start. So I knew eventually I was going to switch everything over <laughs> to A5. So starting with rainy day is still the same. So we're just going to switch that in. And then my two daughters, adult daughters, Keiko and Autumn, they are going to stay the same. And if they don't have money in it, it's because we are starting fresh. I gave them money for Christmas and yeah, that is what we're doing. All right, so I now have, so new ones, I have savings and future and then emergency is carrying over as well. So the Roth IRA, I'm not having here anymore because that is gonna be combined with future. So I will, fix my little trackers with the correct names and same with investing will also go to that and then savings is new and then emergency I will carry over here so yay so that is where we're at here so the new ones are future and savings and then oh, I just love I love it okay so these are all the complete ones. The next one is my purple binder. So purple binder has always been like car maintenance, car tags, you know, important stuff basically. But it's gonna change a little bit. So first I've got, where are we here? So debt is gonna carry over. And I'll probably update all my trackers as well. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. But for now, we're just gonna go with the 
the binders. Next one is computer. So I am all about big beefy computers because I worked in the game industry and I'm a gamer and I do a lot of intensive stuff with like any Adobe products and graphics and all that kind of stuff. So my computer is great it's, and I build my own computers as well, but you know, my computer is from, when did I get it updated? Was 2014 or 15 and you know, things need to be updated. So I decided to, a computer is very, very important to me. So I will begin saving for that because you just never know. And next one is big purchases. So separate from computer, big purchases, and separate from the house. This is any other kind of big purchase that I wanna get. Now, for those that have been around a while, I've been wanting a Roomba for a very long time, and I was getting close, but when I decided to move home, I took care, you know, I saved this for later, and I will get a Roomba once I move back home, so. That's really the first big purchase I want to get. So this is for any kind of large item that I don't want to get that it's but separate from like a computer or whatever. But I just like to have a category called big purchases. Okay, next up is Red Wolf and that is carrying over. That is a timeshare that I've had forever that I've never used, but I was young and dumb. It's paid off, but it is it is now for maintenance, yearly maintenance fees. And then prepping is now going to be here. And that used to be in the blue, I think. But so it's important stuff that is gonna just be its own thing. So you can see that car stuff is not there and we will go into that later. Oh, I'm still gonna carry this over to here because I was doing that. <laughs> All right, and then next up is my light blue binder, which has been for mostly like medical stuff, veterinary care and all that kind of stuff. And it still is going to be. So this one is dedicated for the vet and that is for any veterinary, you know, any veterinary cost that needs to happen, which is always the most expensive, okay? Next up is pet care, and that's gonna be for other stuff. I haven't fully <laughs> decided what I'm gonna do, but I knew I wanted to have one separate from the vet. So there's plenty of other things that it can be going for, and not, not including like food and, and stuff like that, but other stuff. There's plenty of other stuff that pets can do. <laughs> All right, next up is medical, and that definitely is carrying over. So I'm calling this my health binder, I guess medical health. Mostly health, because it covers everything. And dental, of course, will be carrying over. And then I have a separate one for prescriptions. I decided to separate that from, I used to take it all from medical, but I decided to just separate it just in case. All right, so those are the ends. So I got five here, right, as you can see. And now we're going to start with the new binders. First one, dark blue. All right, and dark blue is gonna be for my car. All right, so we can carry some of these over now. That is registration, which is car tags, which I'm happy to say I can now have it say registration. <laughs> I prefer this term instead of car tags. That is getting carried over. And then next up is gonna be maintenance, which is my old car maintenance one. Absolutely is a must. And then next up is all new stuff, tires. So I decided to make, keep it separate from car maintenance because it's its own thing. So one dedicated to tires, one dedicated to insurance. Now I do have insurance. It comes out of my account automatically every month. And I am currently with Geico, which they don't have a, you know, purchase in advance special or whatever. When I move back to California, I will get back on AAA, which is what I had before and which I prefer. But using AAA out in Las Vegas, who was so expensive. So I went for the cheapest thing because when you live in Las Vegas, your insurance goes up like big time. 
So when I move back to California, it's gonna drop down and I will be happy to go back to AAA. And they do have, you know, you get a discount if you um, pay it all in advance. So I'm gonna, I wanna start doing that. So that's what that's for. And then I gotta, should definitely say for the deductible because it's always like a $500 deductible and I don't wanna have to take that from anything else. And then new car, because eventually I will wanna get a new car. My car, I'm so happy to say, is a 2018 and I just paid it off. Paid it off with eight months to go. So I paid it off early. So if you haven't watched my video about it where I unstuffed my 100 envelope challenge, check that out because that was amazing. So there we go. This one is all dedicated to my car which means this one is almost done. <laughs> okay, and then my next one. So a while ago, I had a Veronica binder, but I took a step back from it and to focus on other stuff. So I basically have a Veronica binder again, <laughs> and it's this beautiful rosy color with rose gold envelopes, fonts, vinyls, whatever. So first is wellness, so this is like health and wellness that I like to call it, which is for anything for me, get a haircut, any, if I wanna get a massage, that kind of stuff. That is what all this is for, for me. And then this is friends, so I added this one, so when I move back and, you know, I just wanna go out and have fun with friends, this is what this is for. Or I can also use it to purchase gifts for them, et cetera, et cetera. So that is what this is for. And then parents, I am lumping them all together. Now my parents have not been together for years and years and years since I was six years old. But I'm gonna lump this together because this is for anything, same kind of thing. If I wanna take them out somewhere, I'm gonna take money from this envelope. So yeah. And then fun time. So this can be for anything, <laughs> anything. So I do have a fun, you know, in my wallet, a little mini fun envelope. This is for additional fun times for whatever the heck I want. So we'll just call this like a miscellaneous. And then gaming. So again, you know, so if I need to buy any games or anything with the gaming world, that is what this envelope is for. So yay. That is that. This is all gonna fall, so I better not do that. And then finally, another new binder is this beautiful greenish binder and this is I'm calling this a holiday ish binder and that's because it's gonna cover well me <laughs> so I while I have the Veronica binder this is more for like wait was this supposed to go in here no no yeah this was supposed to go in here because all these are gonna have different colors and this is for me to kind of splurge you know when you buy a gift for yourself kind of thing that's what this is, and that's why this is a holiday-ish binder, because it's for like gifting purposes, kind of, in a way. And speaking of gifts, here is the gifts envelope. This replaced, replaced this one. I didn't feel like gifts belonged with all the medical stuff, so that's why I decided to just kind of make its own thing. So you will now go in here, and then the next envelope, is summer so any kind of summer extravaganza i don't know i was just trying to fill up this binder <laughs> so these really don't make sense but any summer related holiday can go in here then i've got winter wonderland same kind of thing anything from fall to winter can go in here and then christmas will have its own dedicated thing speaking of where is it let's carry christmas over Hallelujah, because this binder zipper doesn't work anymore. It's gone and I just gave up. Okay, and then finally, extra fun. So I guess I did that in case the fun times wasn't enough. <laughs> Again, I was just trying to fill up, fill up whatever. Who knows what I was thinking. All right, so that, these are all my binders for 2023 and hopefully onward where I don't have to create more. But you know, as time goes on, things in your life change. You come up with something else. And if I do, so be it. Now, I was also gonna do, all right, so in my old 
thingy here, my old binder, I have, all right, you guys move over again. I like to do an overview of, so these are my 2022 sinking funds. Not all of them, but just the ones that I like to have a goal amount for. So 500 for car maintenance, 1000 for home repairs, etc. And so I haven't written them down yet for this one, but I just wanted to show that this is kind of something that I like to do. So for example, what do I got in here? So Red Wolf will definitely need to have a, so I had this, I had to change it to 600 because it did go up. So it'll probably be 600 again instead of 500. So certain ones of those I like to have goals and they have to have a bare minimum. And I might just put them up in the corner up here so that I know what I need to do. So, or in the past I used to put a little sticker back in the back so I knew how much needed to be in there. But yeah, so I'm not gonna go over that right now but I will be doing that on my own. But just a heads up if that's something that you're interested in doing, it really will help you so you know that you have to have a goal. Not every one of these needs to have a goal. Like I don't have a goal for wellness. I will just stuff this as needed. I don't need one for friends. But the important stuff like car maintenance, um, Christmas, the vet, those kind of things you have to have a bare minimum. These are bare minimums. So once I reach these amounts, that's like, yay, I feel comfortable with it. And then if I go over, then so be it. But these are the bare minimum. So I will be doing that for my most important categories as well. And so that's that. But I didn't want to make this video super long, so that's why I decided not to do that. <laughs> and that will do it for this video. These are my sinking funds, new A5 binders officially. I'm so happy to be going all A5. Oh, I gotta I don't wanna forget. Let's not forget, I also have my business binder. This is an A5 size. It just fits completely along this. So it's not like, you can see these are, the binder itself is bigger than the envelopes. But this is my business binder. I've not changed anything with this. This is gonna remain as is. And hopefully I'll be utilizing this more when I move back. Because I do have some plans of stuff I wanna do. So, so I've got a total of nine A5 binders plus my casino game night binder and my savings challenge binders, but they're all A5. So I'm super, super excited, yay. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions, please do post in the comments below. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember to stay happy and I'll see you in the next one. Gambatane! You don't see this very often but there's three babies on the bed. <laughs> they were like all in each corner. Hi, Chessie, you didn't have to get up. But they're all sleeping, all the kitties. Old man mama. Oh, look at that sleepy boy. Oh. Okay, well, now we've got all four. Oh boy, the adopted kitty has arrived. Hi, adopted kitty. Nugs. You itchy? Are you itchy? All right, say bye. No? <laughs> itchy.